It's all praise to the Heavenly Father. His true name in Hebrew is Yahweh. And his son's name in the world is called Jesus Christ. His true name in Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Also give it praises, honor, and glory unto the Heavenly Father, the Holy Spirit, which is the force and entity that makes this application possible. I want to say Shalom to all you sincere hearted Akim, who are Akawak, that you brothers and sisters make your bodies a living sacrifice on a daily basis in this wicked and adulterous generation. Also, to give double honors unto our beloved Apostle and the Great Millstone, who tells his truth and who will will. All right, now, you know, a few, uh, few brothers from the Great Millstone Dallas camp, all right, just kind of speaking in the spirit, you know, um, so like you bear with me, give me one second, look like I got my was chopping up. Let me see. Speak of you, bird. So like you know, got some te technical difficulties right now. Okay, so yeah, man. So you know, we're, we're gonna go ahead and get into it, man. You know, Satan just trying to hinder us, but it's all good. All right. Um, as you can see, the title of this lesson it says, "We are in the time of zero tolerance." Mm -hmm. We are in the time of zero tolerance, man, because you know this world is used to uh, to folly. This world is used to you know, uh, you know, not instant, uh, instant judgment, not being uh, enacted, enforced. But we're in those times where the Lord, right, is about to start, uh, start judging, and that judgment's going to begin, all right, at His people, you so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, man. You know, like you got some already. I just wanted when you when you read, I just wanted to go into that zero tolerance, the definition of it. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Yeah. This is um, zero tolerance. Uh, the meaning, a policy of giving the most severe punishment possible. To every person who commits a crime or breaks a rule. All right, so you know, and that's pretty much the time that we're in right now. Well, you know, Scripture talks about how you know, at the time of our ignorance, the Lord winked at it, but now He, you know, demands that you know that that we be obedient. All right, so we coming into those times where, with the Lord, you see, He sharpened His sword via Esau. You know, what I mean, to come down with that great slaughter. So there's going to be zero tolerance for the for the folly and all the things that are being pushed out here, all of the confusion. All right, you got a lot of brothers and camps out here that are scattering the flock. All right, and the Lord's not with that. All right, and there's going to be some great judgment that's going to take place. It's going to be severe as we just went into the definition. All right, because the Lord is not playing in this final hour that we're in. You can link that up with uh, Exodus what, 15 to 3. The Lord is a man of war. Mm -hmm. I'll get that for you. You know what I'm saying? Because back in the church, back in the world, it would teach us the Lord has come back to bring our love. And also it says in the book of Amos, Woe to you that desire the day of the Lord. Right. We're dealing with a power that's known for deleting people for not obeying the laws, statutes, and commandments, especially for his people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Right. So the Lord on his knees on his way back, it's, it's not gonna be preachers and queen. He's not coming back to bring tranquility to the world. He come back to set a division, man. Right. He coming with a sword, and the sword means to cut and sever. He come to set division amongst people, man. If you're not walking according to this rule, right, you will be cut out, man. You can get away now. Well, I had that in Matthew 10 where you were quoting. Yeah, so you had more of that? Uh, you know, I know I was, I, I had something. Um, that I was just going to just uh, land back up what the priest was saying. And this goes into really heavy with a lot of the brothers that are in this camp, that are in this truth. All right, where you have no covering or, or no excuse. This is Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it reads, and it shall come to pass in that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, the Lord will do no good nor do evil. All right, so that's talking about those who know this truth, all right, who've been laboring, who've been in this thing, but in his last final hour, you know, Jake is, you know, he's just starting to bug out, man. He's starting to stray. Like I say, scatter, scatter the flock. So the Lord is getting ready, you know, to bring that smack down, man. You know, he, also those that are, that are, you know, taking this thing as a joke or taking it lightly. This right. is not a light thing, man. Just be laid back, kicked back. Now's the time where you should really be on fire and pushing, man. All right? And the Lord is getting ready. Like I said, you see the judgments that are taking place. 
just on the daily out here. Things are going to ramp up. You know, we got 4th of July, which is madness, tomorrow. So, guaranteed, you're going to see some people being put to death. A lot of jakes. A lot of jakes, man. You're going to see a lot of fighting that's going on, you know, starting tomorrow. You know, so just um, it would behoove you to just, you know, to lock in, man. Right. Yeah, niggas are uh, blowing their hands off. Yep. You know, uh, <laughs> getting a rocket in their eye, blowing their, blowing their eyes out. The yep. 120s or whatever they call them. The M80s. The M80s, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Getting hit with random bullets. You know, niggas love to shoot in the air. Yep. They yep. be getting hit with random bullets coming when they come back down. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's a freaky death right there. That's lower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh, some this is uh, Jeremiah 25 and verse 29. It says, For lo, I will, bring, I will begin. Block. It says, For lo, I begin to bring evil on the city, which is called by my name. And who is that? That is, uh, uh, like you say, that's the nation of Israel. Right. All right. Yasharal. That's who the Lord is uh, called by his name, the Prince of the Power. We are princes, you know, of the power. Who is the power? Yahweh, all right? And uh, like you say, but we can't get to the Father through the Son, but, and that's through who? Yahweh Shai. But he said he's going to be, uh, bring evil on that city. And you can think about that going to Ezekiel 9 when he said he's going to start in the house of Israel. Like he wanted to know your Israelites and what have you. The Lord is going to start to put to do work, as he says, and uh, what is that, uh, in Psalms 115. Yeah, he's, he's going to do that. So I it says, it. Mm -hmm. I get it for you. Come on. Yeah, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, and verse 126. It says, It is time for thee, Lord Yahweh, Bashim Shah, to work. Yeah, it ain't, mm -hmm. the Lord said, Terry, wait for it, but it's surely going to come. The work that the Lord is going to show is his 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 ancient name, what he used to call him in the ancient times, is Alashad. Yeah. Right, you're going to start seeing more of the Lord doing that type of work during the time of the flood, during the time of Sodom and Gomorrah. All these times is going to be culminating into one. All right, you're going to see all this build up. That's why uh, I said it will be like an, uh, so it's, this is going to be something like it's never been done before on the earth. All right, why? Because it's going to be like all those different uh, uh, destruction and, and mass death that we'll put, uh, brought upon the earth that we read about in the scriptures is going to be uh, uh, molded into one. Especially here in the melting pot, which is what America, Babylon the Great. So the Lord is going to do work, and He ain't going to. And, and like I said, it's not going to be you know people like oh well, Lord, I've been doing this for 20, 30 years. It don't matter. The Lord's going to start putting people to death. Yeah. Okay, you got, you got more. You got more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Psalms one nineteen and one twenty six again. It is time for thee, O Lord, Yahweh by Shemuel to work, for they have made void thy law. Right. And this whole world is set up to make void of the law. And our people are just following behind it. And they, you know, they're uh, now complacent. They're, they're relaxed with that. They don't want to go back to the law. They don't want to go back to repenting. The Lord is going to, like you say, do work. Uh, who that, uh, uh, the other, but I just mentioned earlier, like the Lord is going to draw that line in the sink. All right? That's when the Lord will do work. During the time uh, when, Lord drew, uh, when, when Moses drew the line in the sand, Everybody that was uh, not on the side of Moses, what happened? They got swallowed up. Same thing's gonna happen here, but they're gonna get what? Get get burned up by fire. I got a little more here. It's uh, back in Jeremiah 25 and 29, it says, For lo, I will be I begin to bring evil on the city, which is called by my name. And should ye be utterly unpunished? And that's the question. It says, Ye shall not be unpunished. For I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, says the Lord of hosts. And that can coincide with, uh, like I say, Matthew 10, Ryan 34, for the Lord says he's going to bring uh, uh, not peace, but a sword. And that peace, like I say, uh, that sword can do multiple things. It can, uh, it can uh, basically divide, and also it can, it can maim. It can be pierced, it can pierce through you, put you to death. That's what the Lord is going to bring forth. So all this lot of game with your family, Join yourselves, getting ready to uh, shoot these fireworks and all that for in, uh, uh, what is it, Independence Day? For some that you're still that wasn't for you, you Jake, you so-called Black Latinos and Native Americans. No, that wasn't for you. That was for Esau celebrating it because after they celebrated that, it's uh, what it was actually May of 1776, if I'm not mistaken. What happened after that? Did you get? Did they let you go free? No, you was under subjection. You were getting still beat, uh, raped, robbed. 
Mm-hmm. And nothing ain't changed today, but they ain't got you, instead of doing it more physically, they're doing it what? Mentally. They're basically have have plagued, plagued your minds with this wickedness. I so, agree, sir. Go ahead. It's Isaiah chapter 29 and uh, verse 17. It says, Judgment also will I lay to the line, mm -hmm. and righteousness to the plummet, and the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, and the waters shall overflow the hiding place. There's a lot of people that try to um, basically justify themselves and and work in their in their works, right? As opposed to the faith of Yahweh Shai, people that try to, you know, uh, be righteous and be righteous of their own self, you know, their own self, and not focus on Yahweh Shai and seek for mercy. The Lord is going to find out those individuals. You know, he's going he, to search the minds of men, right? It says the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies. When you when you pretty much um, when you when you are trying to hide something, or you're trying to cover up who you are, you pretty much hide yourself in that, like it says, the refuge of lies, like the Pharisees. Yeah, how should I call them? What hypocrites, which is an actor. You you basically lying and uh, and, and and putting forth a false image of who you are, of who you really are. Mm -hmm. Right? It says verse eighteen, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. You know, these uh, individuals that, again, they're not looking for the kingdom of Yahweh Shai. Right. They just want to basically live in, in Babylon the Great or wherever they're at located in the, uh, in the earth and live in a life of vanity, mm -hmm. right? It says that's going to be disannulled, meaning it's going to be made null and void. Yep. All right? It says when the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then ye shall be trodden down by it. Like you said, bro, you know, that line in the sand, mm -hmm. who's going to be on the Lord's side and who's going to be on the side of Satan? Yep. Yep. So that's the only two sides there is. You know? You've been on the one side because the most side and the sun control Satan even. Huh. So it's in a trick bag for you people. You people don't understand the times you're living in, man. The Lord speaks through his men, but you look at this as something that's, uh, what they call it, as something that's insignificant. You see? Mm -hmm. The thing is, the word of the Lord is going out because it says right here in Habakkuk 3 and 2, Oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Mm. You don't consider the Lord is speaking through men. Mm. Therefore, you walk around galloping with no fear. Mm -hmm. You see? Oh Lord, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. And that's what they begin with the apostles and elders and the men on down. That's what you're seeing happening. But the same thing with Noah. When Noah heard the word of the Lord, what did he do? He moved with fear. So we come in the same spirit of Noah, Moses, Aaron, all the great men before there was one of you so-called. Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Mm -hmm. And it says, O Lord, revive thy work in the midst of the years. Right. The Lord is going to, so the Lord showed out back then, Yahweh Mashiach 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 showed out in the ancient world, they're going to show out now. And they're going to show you his strength and what he's going uh, to bring to the earth. Because it says he's a man of war, man. He don't have emotions like humans do. Yep. He comes to do, 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 he comes to, look, I ask you to do this, you're not going to do this, ain't no gray areas. The time is pay time is over, man. The zero tolerance me on out, man. The Lord ain't here playing with you fucking people. You rap about your speaker for the next 200 years, man. <laughs> yep. You got, you got your rabbit ass mind, man. So we praying and hoping that the Lord would revive his work like it in the ancient times, but also remember anger and that, you know, remember uh, mercy and thy wrath, man. Mm -hmm. Hope that we don't get caught up in this thing. It says, oh Lord, revive the work, revive the work in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years, make known. And wrath, remember mercy. Mm. You see, so if you don't have this mark in Ezekiel, exempt from judgment, then you ass out at the end of the day. It ain't gonna be what you did or what you wanted to do or I was going to. No, he said, remember thy Creator in the days of thy youth, man. So when all bets are off, man, that's it. Ain't no the Lord ain't fucking with gray areas, gray areas, man. Either you're on the side or you're not. It's just plain and simple. Mm -hmm. I got one for you. This is the book of 1 Kings, the 18th chapter, and it's going to the time when uh, the prophet Elijah, right, he was going up against those false uh, priests, or those, those priests of Baal, you know, those false prophets, but those same, right, those same individuals are back, man. You know, the, the Lord has, you know, uh, sent lying spirits in the mouths of these particular, you know, uh, uh, so-called camp leaders in these other congregations. We're just going to call it like it is, man. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, how shall I say it in Matthew 24 chapter, you know, this generation shall not pass until all these things be fulfilled. Right. You know, now surely, 
those individuals, you know, 2,000 years ago, they all passed, went back to the spirit world. All right, but that generation is back. All right, the generation of the Lord's wrath and the generation of the Lord's elect is back. All right, living here on planet Earth simultaneously. All right, and, and, and the Lord has this planet as a, as a movie, as a movie backdrop, as a, as a uh, stage. And all these things are being played out. All right, but yet, you know, Jake is lax, settled on his leaves. Yep. All right, but uh, right now, man, the Lord, right, as, as, the, as the elders and the brothers was bringing out earlier, man, all right, the Lord is drawing, drawing the spiritual line in the sand by the vision. Mm -hmm. This is uh, 1 Kings chapter 18, and uh, I'll start at verse 21. It says, And Elijah came unto all the people and said, How long halt ye between two opinions? Mm. If the Lord be, if Yahweh Bashemah shall be power, follow him. But if by all, then follow him. Mm -hmm. And the people answer him not a word, man. You see? And that's the same vibration that, you know, you you, you know, uh, you watch our apostles, right? Our bishops, our elders, and all the Akim. That's the same energy that, that, that we're exuding, man. All right? Ain't nobody trying to force you, all right, to serve and worship your Allah by Shema Shah. Because we understand, all right, ultimately the elect is going to do that regardless, man. And that's who we're preaching to. All right? But for all the, all the uh, fence stragglers, all right, they're going to be sought out in due time. They're going to be cast into the left hand. They're going to, hey, the Lord's coming back to separate the sheep from the goats, man. Matthew, the 25th chapter, you know? So it's either the time, you know, you, you taking this truth serious, 10 toes down, right, until you howl shot, you know, sent the holy angels, right, and himself, all right? Or, all right, you, uh, uh, at the end of the day, man, everybody's going to be revealed. Yep. You know, you were just going to do that. What, what scripture page you just pulled out? Uh, I read the Isaiah 28 and 18. Yeah, Isaiah. Yeah, man. You know. So yeah, man. Hey, hey, Yahweh Shah is revealing everything. Mm -hmm. You see, and and things are being revealed ultimately by this doctrine. You know, First Corinthians eleven chapter. He says, "What for heresies? You know, uh, must come, so that those who do have the most high approval will be recognized." You see, I got you best kind. Of, you best believe, man. That the, the true prophets they're gonna be recognized on this side. Yeah. Just wait to to the day when that, bro. Just imagine that day that when the MOTB. All right, it's implemented, mm -hmm. right, and enforced, and you know some people may be seeing it on the news. And, oh shit! You're gonna remember. You're gonna remember, man. Yeah, and then you, um, <laughs> all I use UK, they gonna, they gonna get it because it ain't yeah. it ain't the mark, right? So yep. they gonna, they gonna all get it. They all gonna get it, and they gonna be telling Jake to get it. Mm -hmm. And the ones that's not right with the Lord, the Lord gonna put a demon on the listeners of I of ISUPK to get it. And Nate and his, you know, Bishop Nathaniel, excuse me, of the IUIC and his congregation, they're gonna have to, they're gonna have to see uh, what they're gonna do because they've been saying they've been mocking uh, the couch, uh, the couch prophets preaching on our mothers, the old, the old couch, old dusty couch, mm -hmm. saying that what the MOTV really is. You know, they're gonna have to tell that because people are gonna be coming up to them asking the congregation, hey, uh, so damn, all right, well now that it's here. You know, are you sure this ain't it? Yeah, the congregation will be asking. Right. Yeah, the congregation will be like, hey, this is this is actually happening. Yeah. yeah. So are do we man I like the idea I S U P K that's quick history repeating itself. So what did they say? And uh when when the, the, the plan didn't yeah. happen, it was like what did he yeah. say? Take take it. Yep. He said take the season. Yep. I mean, I'll take the, but take the, uh, the jump shot. Yeah, yep. take the jump shot, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Tomatoes from my Yeah, yeah. No, uh, um, who was that? Uh, nah, it was I should be K, man. Yeah, they, I know. They, yeah. they weighed, they Jerry weighed Hunter up said that. But I got this preset real quick. <coughs> this is um, Malachi chapter 3 and uh, verse 1. The point is in, in uh, verse 2. It says, Behold, I will send my messenger. He shall prepare the way before me. Hmm. Right, which is talking about who? John the Baptist. Mm -hmm. Right? Which who would uh, I'm not trying to go off topic, but not off topic, but you know, not too far left field, but uh a lot of um you know, men that was back, you know, during the old school, they they don't teach what was taught back during the old school from what the apostles told us. Right. Our bishops and, and apostles told us about Elder Abba Bivens. Mm -hmm. They don't go into that. It's like Vocab Malone will go deeper than, than ISUPK and IUIC when it comes to the history of that mm -hmm. stuff, right? But that was something that was publicly, you know, ex, uh, um, what's the word, confessed, you know, that, that um, Elder Abba Bivens, okay, is um, uh, John the Baptist coming back in the reincarnation. And um, Bish, um, 
uh, Vocab Malone wants to sow doubt because he's a scoffer. Right. Okay, so if you if you watch a Vocab Malone video of him trying to discredit the doctrine of uh, the of one West, as 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 he says, right, the one Westers, and you and you lose the faith because he's questioning, then your your faith was weak. Your faith is small. That's right. what you say. Mm-hmm. But I, but I want to get this, to this point real quick. It says, and the Lord is talking about Yahweh now. The Lord whom ye seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Mm. Even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in, behold, he shall come, saith Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh shall post. And here's the point. But who may abide in the day of his coming? Mm. And who shall stand when he appeareth? For he is like a refiner's fire and like fuller's soap. Mm. Mm. See, so he's going to try the hearts of men. He's going he gonna to be, he gonna be the... Um, with the purifier, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So yep. all the bullshit that people want to bicker back and forth and, and the dilly dallying that's going on now, all that's going to be uh, put to rest when Yahweh Shai shows up, man. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, hey, like the scriptures say, um, who uh, who are you to desire the day of the Lord? You know what I'm saying? You better be on point. Because yep. if you're not, it's going to be found out. Yep. That's right. what that fuller soap is. That That's that's that soap that gets yep. all the stains out. Y'all got it. This is uh, Psalms 96, and I'm going to read uh, verse 4 and 5, and then I'm, I'm, I want to jump down to 13, because you just mentioned it, like, the, when the Lord come, yeah, he's, he's going to judge. He's, he's coming with, uh, like, there's going to be darkness and not light. Mm-hmm. All right, this is uh, Psalms 96 and 4. It says, for the Lord is great and greatly to be praised. Mm-hmm. He is to be feared above all gods. Mm-hmm. He just went into, uh, the, uh, you just mentioned about uh, Elijah and those, those uh, other uh Priests of Baal, you know, those were the, uh, the other, like the other gods. Our people here, uh, they basically worship these gods and don't even know. Bro, you yep. calling on Jesus. Yeah, you're like still calling on Jesus, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a, bro, that's idolatry. You yep. want to be technical, mm-hmm. but they, but they the biggest ones on the law. Yep. You know, bro, you breaking the first law. They should have no other gods before me. Exactly. Yeah. Browns, you want for destruction. <laughs> and that's what the MOT to the beacon become. That's going to actually become a god to, 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 to the people. All right, because they're going to need it. They're going to need Esau. They're going to go to Esau because they were like, we need help. You know, we need to receive food or what have you. And what Esau said, you receive this M-O-T to the B, mm-hmm. and you will receive a bag of rice mm-hmm. or something, you know. Yeah, your daily portion. Yeah, your daily portion. portion. No, but really, that's the M-O-T-B, that's going to be a signet of their faith in Satan and Esau. Yeah. Because they already believe in their daddy Esau, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just that the, the, public, al- the public altars of but all that's not like you know contemporarily popular right now. Mm-hmm. So, but they still believe in the same principles. Yeah. Do as thou wilt. You know, my body, my choice. Yeah. You know, um, uh, Pride Month. Yeah. You know, all this madness, right? So that's just going to be the icing on the cake. That's why it says all that worship the beast in his image. Mm-hmm. The image being yeah. what? Mm-hmm. The basically all the characteristics of the beast system. Right. Mm-hmm. They already right. they already bought in. This right. the, the, the MOTB, that's just gonna be the signet, just like how, right. how 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 circumcision is a signet of the faith that we have in the how about Shimia Shai. Yeah. That that MOTB is just gonna be a signet of their faith in Satan. Yep. Right. Yeah, yeah, they're already pretty much pretty much locked in now as we yeah. know the, the serpent moves subtly, man. So and, and subtitle, you know, so all these little mandates and things that he's been pushing, all that, Jake doesn't realize he's prepping your mind for that ultimate enterprise, man. Right. You know? I asked him, I just want to grab here. This was uh, uh, Joshua 24 and uh, 15. And if it seem evil oh, unto you. Yeah. 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 The water. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity and truth and put away the gods which your father served on the other side of the flood. In Egypt and serve ye the Lord. Right. So as the priest was talking about, you know, Jake was he was going off, man. Mm-hmm. You know, bound to Baal, all these different, you know, gods, and that's the same spirit that's back today, different images. Yep. Jake is into self worship, money, whatever the case may be, these different doctrines, you know, holding fast to what 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 um this uh, madness that Esau's spewing out, right? Goes on to say, and if it seems evil unto you, if it seems evil unto you, serve the Lord. To serve the Lord, choose ye this day whom ye shall serve. And that's pretty much the point that we're at right now. Mm-hmm. The Lord's pretty much like, well, you need to choose choose this day who you're going to serve. Are you going to serve Yahweh Shemeh And if you're not, by default, you're against him. 
Hey, man, right? Okay. Yeah, there, there is no, there is no gray area with Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, man. Either you're gonna be with him or or against him, and we can see right now all this, you know, uh, um, these things that are happening with the, with these different camps. What is that? Um, First Timothy, the fifth, fifth chapter, talks about you know open rebuke of the church. All this is essentially to 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 keep or to remove wickedness out of Israel, out of the elect, man, because the Lord is getting ready to come, man, and He's great cast great judgment on this place, man. You're going to see a lot of people this year, by the end of this year, we're going to see a lot of a lot of crazy right. stuff that's great happen, man. Right. We were just talking about it last night. We can feel it in the air. It's right. been too quiet around here. The Lord is getting ready to exercise something incredible, man. Mm -hmm. What you got? Uh, go, uh, go jump down to Psalm 96 and 13. It says, Before the Lord, for he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He Ooh. shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with his truth. All right, so that's when, like I said, when the Lord comes, that's what's going to be established. <laughs> like said, and, and like I said, make no tearing because this is about to happen. Yeah. All right. But like I said, it's a build up on things to come for the Lord to actually make his return. That's right. All right. You're going to see all these uh, uh, wars, rooms of war. It's going to be war. Yep. All right. It's gonna, actually going to be people that's going to be fighting amongst each other. All right, you're gonna have, as it says in uh, what is it, Isaiah 19, the Egyptian against the Egyptian. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be all about madness here in Babylon. Second Ezra 15. Mm -hmm. Second Ezra 15. Yep. Civil, you know, war. Civil, Civil war. war. Sedition. Sedition among men. All these things are about to happen, and our people not even really paying attention to it because they worried about what they're gonna do Friday night after pay, getting mm -hmm. paid. Mm -hmm. Who they gonna go try to smash? Mm -hmm. You know, they not even worried about the Lord. That's why the Lord, when the time comes, and they say, Lord, Lord, you know, <laughs> the Lord said, I, I never knew you. You didn't come to me. You was going to your daddy Esau, yep. you know, your your father the devil, all right. What is that? Uh, John um, eight forty four. Your mm -hmm. father yep, the devil. Yeah, forty four. Yeah. Yeah. And and you and you you doing what your father do, so you got to receive the judgment that I'm going to give Esau, which yep. is your father, who you wanted to uh, basically be sub subjected on. You ain't looking for the Lord. So the Lord said He's going to come and He's going to bring forth His truth. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. People don't got people got to understand the history, man. It's you can't just look at life and look at the situation that Israel's in just based on right now and in this lifetime. You gotta go back and see how how we once were in a high position in the earth. Right. And then we we just completely just messed it up after the Lord gave us chance after chance after chance to the point where we you know like literally the worst case scenario. We're underneath the devil. Yeah. You know? Like the Lord put us in different captivities. He'll put us in captivity for a couple years and then he'll deliver us. Bro, we've been in captivity for hundreds of years, bro. Yep. You know, scriptures talk about uh, in Revelation, you know, that three uh, three and a half days, yep. that three and 350 years, bro, we was without the name of the Lord, without who, no, knowing who we was. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? True. And we still, you know, we're coming into that great awakening now. We still, you know, Still waiting for salvation. Yep. So, bro, if you, if, but a lot of Jake look at life through westernized, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just mm -hmm. the life that you lived on the earth for 30, 40 years. Mm -hmm. And that's not, bro. Mm -hmm. You gotta, we gotta get back in that ancient spirit. You know, look back in the way, in the age, in the days of old. I'm gonna yep. find that. Come I on. got it. I got a quote one for you. This is uh, the book of uh, Amos, chapter 6, and verse 6 in the NLT. It says, you drink wine by the bowl full and perfume yourself with fragrant lotion. And this is speaking about Jake, you know, particularly Israel, you know, uh, Northern Kingdom at the time, you know, living, living luxuriously. Mm -hmm. All right. Under the umbrella of, uh, you know, what was that? Uh, Calne. I heard which that was associated with the Assyrians, man. You know, and Jake, just like now, they, they want to live under the shadow of Egypt, yep. live under the shadow of Esau, Edom. And have these so-called these pseudo comforts, these pseudo luxuries, which it feels good to the flesh. All right, but what is that doing? Let me continue to read Amos six and six in NLT. You drink wine by the bowl full. All right, you having a merry heart. You don't give a shit about nothing, man. Yeah. All right, it says and perfume yourselves with fragrant lotions. You care nothing about the ruin of your nation. Mm. And that's Jake, man. It's like the mm. priest was just bringing out, man. Jake can't see past. All right, this modernism bullshit. They don't. They don't consider the ancient days. They don't consider like, damn, how did me and my people get here? Why are we right, here? Right. Why are we at? Why are we just at the bottom right. everywhere we go? 
you know? And that's what the Lord says. That's a testimony against you, Jake. All right, you care nothing about the ruin of your nation. You see, and people say, oh, that GMS, y'all hate y'all people. Yeah, we hate the two-thirds, but really, this is the, the greatest act of love toward our nation, man. We're the ones who really love our nation the most, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, by rebuking the wickedness out of it and by, you know, uplifting the names of your house, by shot. You see, if you're not in this ministry, you really hate your people, man. Don't, so don't, don't come with us saying that we hate our people, which we, once again, we hate the two-thirds, all right? But by us loving the elect, that's really going to bring all the nation back together, man, mm -hmm. by bringing out this doctrine, you know? But for everybody else, man, y'all y'all narcissistic, all right? Y'all selfish. You don't care about, all you care about is, uh, is what the hell you going to eat today, man, you know? All you care about is your, uh, you know, a uh, new job. A new car, me, 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 me. That's the same spirit yep. that Esau, your father, got, man. Yep. Yeah, like Smith said in the Matrix. Me, me. me. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. 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 uh, But he was uh, joined hand to hand. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I got that priest. I got a priest up by the way. So Bob, you so-called Negro Latino, this is Americans. You're not an American because of the location. You American by your mindset. Mm -hmm. That would make you an American, man. Yeah. You still you see you in this westernized mindset thinking that you're an American. Because the scripture says to be renewed by the spirit of your mind. Your mindset, you have a mindset of a so-called American, man. So therefore the Lord's gonna judge you for that. You and your family. It's also a speech of in Jeremiah said, death shall creep into your windows, man. Mm -hmm. So all bullshit is off at the end of the day, man. So if you go join this, you know, either Lord, either the spirit will bring you into this thing. Or he don't want you, he gonna kill you at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Ain't no other way to put it. You see? God, if I may ask, like Jake, you know, the scripture talk about, you know, just run wax fat and kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because ultimately, especially on this side, it's like comfort to Jake is like a disease, man. It's like for some reason when Jake is comfortable, he can't think in, in reality, logically, you know, like yeah. like the priest talked about. You don't consider things that are written before time, written for our learning. You go into the scriptures, man. We were rulers, man. We were kings. You know, we had nations under suggestion. You'll be able to find out who the wicked is if you go through the scriptures. The same shit this man is doing today is the same shit he was doing in his, uh, back then. You'll be able to understand kind of where we went off, where we went wrong to correct it. But as long as Jake is in his comfort, man, it's like a disease to Jake because he just he just yeah. waddles in that he waddles in that stronghold, you know? That's Isaiah 1 and 3. Man. Said the whole head is sick. And why should you be stricken in the morning? Isaiah man. 4. The Lord is going to get rid of you people, man. Yep. So every time you keep squeezing the grip on your ass, you revolt more and more. Okay, I'm tired of squeezing the grip. I'm just gonna delete you at the end of the day yep. and start all over again. Yep. That's the message to you so-called Negroes, Latino you know, Native Americans, because they so caught up in this, and, and they don't think about the ancient times no more. They always say, oh, but, well, the Bible, oh, that was ancient times. That was the old ways. Not knowing, that's, you need to go back to the old paths. Who is it they changed not? You that's, see? I got that, right. I got that precept. They don't consider, man. You got that. Kind of. This is uh, Jeremiah 6 and 15. Actually, uh, pointing to verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. And the ways meaning the, your course of walk, yep. your course of life, the way you walk in your life. Wherever path you lead them to, that's what ways talking about. Mm -hmm. So consider the old path and the course that you're walking in this life, man. You got it up. It says, um, it says, And ask for the old paths, where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. Mm. But they said, We will not walk therein. You see, <laughs> that's that new Jack City, you know, yeah. new, new Age Generation yeah. Z nigga uh, spirit, man. GMO baby spirit, like Possible Cop says. Gender oh, roles. We're going to we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna, we gonna make the truth cool. Is it cool? Is it okay to. Is it, can we have fun in the truth? That type of spirit. Gather, you know. Backtracking, you regressing in the spirit, man. Yeah. Like Hebrews, the fifth chapter says, "Where in the time come where you ought to be teachers, you have need that one teach you again. Um, you, you know, you, you, you need to go back to the milk. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not, you're not on no level, man. And you teaching, you coming in the spirit. We talking about Israelites, uh, other Israelites that teach that don't teach sound doctrine, right. which a sound doctrine is the true teachings of Yahweh Shai. Right. If you teaching bullshit like uh you know is Israelites gonna burn forever in hell you know or um if you teach in that you know uh Paul's writings are not biblical mm -hmm. talking about the Sakari you know that's not that doesn't have biblical authority whatever the hell terminology you use 
And then they, and then and then uh, Alazar got his men teaching that getting confounded by Christians. Now right. they getting posterized by Christians, man. That's, That's what happens when you build on sand. That shit yep. collapse every time, man. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Whereas you all you should have all you should have really did see, but they're the cool niggas, and you know they hit the the Hebrew and the Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? That's vanity. Mm. Okay, you're supposed to separate the truth from your work. You know, you're not supposed to you uh, uh, commercialize the truth, man. But anyway, um, it says walk therein, right? Walk in the in the good way. See, see, ask for the old paths. But Jake want to bypass the old paths and make some new wave shit. Yeah. And think that, that yep. they can mix that with the truth, and then right. that still that you know, so I can get more, more, more look, more views, and more of this and more of that. That's all vanity. Man, you know, I can add real quick. <laughs> See, Jake, Jake in the day walking on the old path, they got fringes on their t-shirts. You think in a, in, a, in an ancient time we had t-shirts? <laughs> we had we had uh, faded glory t-shirts mm -hmm. from Walmart and had some fringes on it. <laughs> but you gonna condemn us because we ain't got faded glory or dickies? You know, right. t shirts with fringes. Like, Come on, man, get the hell out of here. He's childish, man. Yeah, Jake is childish, man. People are childish. And when, when we truly do bring up the, the ancient past, such as Deuteronomy 22, all right, then you get offended. Yeah. You know? So, man, Jake don't want the ancient. They don't want to walk in the ancient past, man. Well, that's, you know, the, that's church gate. You know, that's the position of difficulty. Now, when, when you start dealing with more of the world, trying to, like, uh, saying, stay within that gray area, that's basically going to try to. You're going to start guiding your people. You're going to be the shepherd trying to uh, guide them to what? The why. You know, but when we're going that straight gate, that's the narrow. That's going to second edge is uh, seven, the first five and six. You know, we're looking for that straight. Uh, we're going for that, that straight gate, the position of difficulty, knowing that it's going to be fire on one side and water on the other. Mm -hmm. See, you have these, some of these uh, leaders in Israel want to take him around. You know, I want to make it smooth for y'all. Cool. Yeah. I don't want you to take through these difficult times. Yeah. Would you lead them to what? You lead them to what? To to death. All right? You you lead them to 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 condemn them. All right? The Lord said we're supposed to be going through this position of difficulty and go taking this straight gate to receive what? Salvation. But they want to receive their consolation here because they start dealing more and more with he saw they're trying to be more comfortable with the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Uh you you wanna hey, well if you feel like you wanna uh, put on your fringes, you good. Don't worry about it. You're going to be delivered because you got your fringes on. No. But what? how are you walking? How are you walking in the spirit? Right. Fringes should ultimately be out of mind. Yeah. You know, if your fringes on, the fringes out of mind, man. If you need, you know, and, and there's, having fringes is a beautiful thing, you know, but it's more of something that should be in your in, in your in your heart, in your love, in your mind, mm -hmm. man. You know, that should be something that's on the forefront of your mind and everything that you do, walking in the spirit. You got to look down and be reminded every five minutes about going off, then there might be a problem with you. Mm. You know? <clears throat> I'm going to grab uh, uh, Jeremiah 23. Man, if I can say real quick, like, bro, like, how many times we've been out to camp and we've seen Jake's with fringes on walk past the camp smoking cigarettes? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you remember that? Well, even last, like, that. two weeks ago, it was uh, a couple of Jake's. They came up. They listened. Yeah, they, 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 like, three they, Jake's. They came up. I don't know who they was or whatever, but, you know, they had the, <laughs> they had the, that college swag but with the fringes on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, you know, it's just like you can tell this when certain Jake, you know, is trying to be hip. Yeah. Because you know? it's now, now it's cool. That's why, this, that's why the brothers putting up videos. It's, it's, um, it's not always gonna be cool to be an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? Because it was, it, it's like during the time of Maccabees when, uh, you know, when Antiochus made it illegal to be an Israelite. Yep. Okay, and to sacrifice to the Lord and circumcise your children, niggas wasn't thinking it was cool then. No, you know what I'm saying? Are you really? Are you willing to to, to uh, uh, be put to death for the truth? That's the question you need to ask mm -hmm. yourself, man. And we need to ask, start with ourselves, right? You know, but certain things, certain qualities, you could, you start to kind of question and wonder, like, damn, you know, could this like is this person serious about the truth? Right. Because they're trying to they changing the doctrine. So the answer we already know it. Mm -hmm. No. See, yeah. I got a precept. Um, Y'all didn't have one. You can go ahead, brother. Yeah, I wanted to get this one earlier, but I'll, I'll go up. Jeremiah 6 and 15. It says, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Mm. Nay, they were not at all ashamed. Neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I shall visit them, Shall they be cast down, said Yahweh Shemuel Shah. Mm. And that's talking about Israelites, but the Lord don't, I'm sorry, 
But our, a lot of our people don't think that the Lord's going to visit them. They don't think that, again, that Yahweh Shah is coming back in their in their lifetime. If you knew that, uh, you know, like your parents is coming back in, in 30 minutes, you wouldn't be throwing no party, man. You'd be making sure the, the house is clean, this and that. But at, Jake don't act like Yahweh Shah is coming back next year. Right. They, they, they basically like shit. We're gonna, we're gonna turn up. We're gonna buy cities. We're gonna start. We're gonna start a, uh, you know, we got to uh, build, build a water supply. All this madness. Right. Music videos with the truth, with you know, trying to be hip. So how do you think your Howard Shy gonna respond to that when he comes back? Right. You see, you got y'all, y'all got it. I got one. It's Jeremiah eleven and one down to three in the NLT. The Lord gave another message to Jeremiah. He said. Remind the people of Judah and Jerusalem about the terms of the covenant with them. Mm. Whether you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and their American want to just talk shit against the man of the Lord, don't want to come back, we still, uh, uh, we made an agreement in the wilderness, bro. Yep. Right. That, that agreement still stands. So whether you get, whether you want to get this or not, you're still under that agreement. He said unto Moses and Aaron, what the Lord said we would do, yep. he dipped the, uh, the hyssa branch in the basin, and sprinkle the blood on the people in the book of uh, Exodus, man. Yep. We still, we made it up. Again, it said, remind the people of Judah and Jerusalem about the terms of my covenant with them. The word covenant mm -hmm. simply means agreement. Right. Yep. That's all it means, yep. man, an agreement. Yep. It's a marriage contract. Ultimately. Right. Yeah. Verse yep. 3. So like, and it says, say to them, this is what the Lord, the power of Israel says, curse is everyone who does not obey the terms of my covenant. That's also in the book of Chronicles, it said, if you don't seek me, you shall be put to death. Mm -hmm. Talking about the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. So whether you want to go out here and gallop in, act a fool, they got on dresses, this, that, and the third about the men of the Lord, you still have to pay for what you agreed to over in the wilderness, man. You see? Right. That's what you don't want to stand at the end of the day. And without the blood of Yahweh Shah, we will all be condemned, you know, of the transgression and rebellion that we had, that we all had against that first covenant. Right. And mm -hmm. hey, yeah, the Lord is still pissed off yeah. with, our, with our breach. So if you're not exalted and looking up your high with shot, well, you gonna have you gonna have to eat that, man. Yep. Yeah, this man. is why, hey, this is why, hey, we, hey, we boast in your high shot and in the Most High's righteousness by sending forth the Son, your high with shot. Yep. And we look forward to your high shot's, you know, righteousness and works being applied over our lives, man. Right. You know. Yep. Because we all, hey, Hebrews eight. Eighth chapter, you know, says mm -hmm. the final fault with them, mm -hmm. you know, and that includes us, all of us, man. So this is why, hey, man, we we exalt the Yahweh Shah, the, the mediator, that's right. you know. But see, that, that's a nigga for you, though, man. Ain't talking shit against the attorney, the lawyer, the one that's pleading for you. Mm -hmm. I got a quick one here, and and when, like I said, when you go through the scriptures, you <laughs> you know through process elimination who Jake is today, man. All right, it's the same stiff-necked people that did the same things back in the ancient. This is Exodus uh, 32, and I'm going to start at 8. How, I'm going to read in the NLT. How quickly they have turned away from the way I commanded them to live. They have melted down gold and made a calf, and they have bowed down and sacrificed to it. They are saying, these are gods, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Then the Lord said, I have seen how stubborn and rebellious these people are. And this is when he was talking with Moses. When Moses was up on the mountain, he told Moses, Now leave me alone so my fierce anger may blaze against them and I will destroy them and I will make you, Moses, a great nation. So this was right after <laughs> the Exodus, man. Right? You know, Lord parted the sea. You saw all these miracles that's happened. You walking through, through, through the sea, man. On each side, there's a wall. 500 feet high, just a wall of, of water. Big ass fish aquarium. You, you, you're seeing whales and all that stuff just sitting there. Right. Oh, this, these, you know, you got the chariot leading in front of you. You're seeing all these miraculous things. Mm -hmm. Okay, what does Jake do? As soon as he gets over here. So, the, so soon after that, Jake's, you know, start, you know, giving noses a hard time, start being rebellious. Next thing you know, he building gold calves. And the Lord was great, just fuck all of Israel up, man, and yeah. start over with Moses. It's going to show you really truly how insignificant we are, man. The yeah. Lord don't need us. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, he don't. He can snap his fingers and make a whole new nation out of all somebody totally. Jake don't understand the privilege that comes right. along with this thing, man, and just being able to say that I'm Yasharala, bro, and what mm -hmm. that comes with. Yep. You know? That's right. Yeah. Uh, so you got it. Like you said, like Moses, uh, 
He told Moses what? He said, I'll start over with you. Yep. You know? And we got to think. He had actually had done that before. What did he do with Noah? He was like, I, he got rid of everyone. Right. Yep. So they right. sold and started over. Yep. That's yep. what he's going to set up for uh, this time around Ooh. now. You're going to have that remnant that's going to be delivered that elect. That's yep. why when you read the book of uh, Sirach, the 44th to 45th chapter, it says Noah was likened to the uh, unto the remnant. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, mm -hmm. that, you got that? Well, I ain't got it, but I got something kind of okay. linked to it. Uh, this is Ezekiel 6 and 8. It says, Yet I will leave a remnant that ye may have some that shall escape the sword among the nations when ye shall be scattered through the countries. And we are scattered through the country. That's why when that remnant is going to be delivered and going to be delivered up, when they say you see the stranger of the salvation of wisdom, Solomon 5, you're going to see um, people from all, uh, Jake from all different nations, the elect. You're going to see them being delivered up. It's going to be a remnant that's going to be delivered. So, those are the ones that's going to have that faith and the belief in your how about you, how shot. All right. The one that's not in that gray area jumping back and forth. All right. They're going to have, you know, set their lives up for the Lord. And one thing about that is you going through this straight gate. All right. Knowing the times that we're in. Because if you read, um, going to verse 7, it goes into what? Going to the, uh, uh, I believe, the, the judgment of the Lord. All right. The Lord said he's going to come back and he's going to uh, go into the end coming. Right. He said the end is going to be coming. So it's, we got to see the times that we're in. This, and like I said, measure the time. The Lord gave us this, this measuring, this, this rod, this understanding of what? No one like in Daniel 2, seeing where we're at. Yep. That, that, that statue of Nebuchadnezzar, that was a timeline of what we're at and what we're, being, yep. what we're doing in these times. And what's going to happen? We're at the feet. Yep. All right, mixed with part, uh, what is that? A part of the animal, part of the clay, the right? Clay. Yep. Yeah. And what's comes on after that? That that, 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 that rock. Yes. Yep. <laughs> that big it, rock. It, it's coming. <laughs> yep. Yep. So that's why I was like, you, can't, you shouldn't make no tearing and, and try to put off on these things because the Lord is getting ready to make His return. Mm -hmm. We're we're seeing the 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 end come and manifest, and we're we're here. Right. Yeah. So, Jake, if you don't wake up now. Even like, like I said, these Jake and these other accounts is pushing these, uh, these wayward doctrines. Hey, bro, if you in that, you gotta, you gotta start really just looking at what's coming down the pipe and right. see what doctrine and what prophecies that certain Israelite camps are going by yep. that are basically coinciding with what we're seeing today. Yep. And what we're seeing today is now is what Esau is doing. Phil is belly is setting up for that image of the beast going into that. Uh, like I said, setting up for that. The system implement that yep. that MOT to the beast. Yeah, that's what the scripture says, you know, you know, to honor the kings to search out the matter, man. Yep. You know, the simple believeth in every word. So, you know, that's why scripture talks about studying, you know, study to show thyself approved, not just, you know, hear and just take, you know, our elders apostles, they talk about that all the time. Maybe you write down these precepts, but just don't take our word for it. Go in there and you know, you know, like the church of Berea, you know what I mean? Go in there and actually research it, man. You know, prove it to be what it is. I, I I noticed when I first came into this thing, and I've done it once or twice, and I realized it was just a spirit. Sometimes when you l listen to a brother's lesson, he may bring up a precept, but he'll give you the wrong book or the wrong verse. Mm -hmm. yeah. A man that's wise would be like, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm going to find that because yeah. that ain't what, what he yeah, said, yeah. but <laughs> what he said. So, you know, but other jakes just kind of just let that fly over their head. Mm -hmm. I, this used to happen a lot, and I used to go in there and actually find, okay, this is the verse that he really meant. You know, because spirit just kind of rock like that. And sometimes I looked at that as like tests. But again, that goes back to just searching out the matter. You know, hey, I got that precept too, Baba Kusha. I'll let you speak on it. Talking about knowing the remnant. Okay. This is uh, uh, Sirach 44 and 17. Noah was found perfect and righteous. In the time of wrath, he was taken in exchange for the world. You know, uh, what does Noah's name mean? Rest. That's right. You know, rest, comfort, and that's uh, what the elect has found in the time of this in the time of the most evil times, man, you know, rest. Right. And that rest is in the form of this sanctuary, man. Yahweh Shah said in uh, Matthew 11, chapter, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Ooh. Learn of me, take my yoke. Yep. You know, so that's where the rest comes from. All right. You know, it is through this ministry. You got it out. God. He's taking an exchange for the world. Therefore, he was. Can, uh, can you start from the top? Again? Sure, I can. Noah was found perfect. Salaki. This is a Sirach 44 and 17. Noah was found perfect and righteous. And this word perfect has been a stumbling block for Jake, man. Uh, right. The past few weeks. Right. You know, yeah, yeah, Christ. And they, they be saying Christ. Yep. You know, which mm -hmm. we know that's not his, his, his title in the Hebrew. His title in the Hebrew is uh, 
Hamashiach, the anointed. All right, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. Yahweh Shah didn't speak Greek. All right, and right. Christ ain't even Greek. It's Christos. Christ is some God. bullshit. <laughs> it's, a, it's a transliteration of a Greek word. And Yahweh Shah didn't speak Greek, man. Why are you not pushing Hebrew? But you, but you forcing your congregation to change your, to change your <laughs> legally change your name, to to Hebrew, but Yahushua's name is Christ, Most High and Christ blessed. What type of five hundred one c three shit is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, this, this, that word perfect. When it said Noah was found perfect, that word perfect is a stumbling block to you a lot of you Israelites, man. Y'all think that that means that you keep the law perfectly. Right. That you're perfect, that you don't sin, you you know, you never make a mistake, nothing. No, perfect means you, you're whole. You know, you're integrable. You, you have integrity. You know, and the brothers go into it often, you know, at camp, man. You know, and, uh, uh, the, the root word of integrity or, uh, yeah, or of integrity is what? Integer. I got to Which Okay, yeah, which integer is a whole number. You see? Yeah. So how are we completely what, what what how are we ultimately whole? Through this doctrine. Right. So that's yeah. how Noah was found perfect. Doesn't mean that he didn't sin. Because scripture says that there's no man that, that has ever lived that, that's not perfect, that, that hasn't sinned. Right. You know? Now there may not be a particular record upon that man, but we know that the only the, the only one that came down here upon planet Earth that never sinned is only Yahweh Shah. You yeah. see? Other than that, everybody else is sin, some way, shape, form, or fashion. Scripture says even the thought of wickedness is, is sin. You know, Jake don't understand the spirit behind it. Yeah, but you you can finish that real quick. Come on, yeah, this is uh, uh, Sirach forty four and seventeen. Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of wrath. He was he was taken in exchange for the world. Woo! He was taken in exchange for the mm. world. That's that's the true definition of a high value man. Come on, exactly. Come on. <laughs> the Lord exchanges everybody's. Life for yours, man. I'll take him, man. Just go. <laughs> yeah. Just, you know what I mean? Yeah, what I'm degrees, everything else. I say, what are your degrees at? Right. What are your yeah. investments? Yeah. What, you know, what are your generational wealth and shit at? Yeah. That shit don't mean nothing, man. Right. Yep. And scripture says in Proverbs, what is that? Proverbs 21, it says how the wicked is going to be a ransom for the righteous, man. Right. Yep. And that includes all you other, uh, you, you Israelites, man, that's scoffing against the true men of the Lord, are right, as casting, you know, shame. And this grace and try to, you know, you're being the part of the accuser of the brethren. Yeah. Where you're going to be taken in exchange. All right. The same type of punishment. All right. The judgment that you try to get the men of the Lord caught in, you're going to get caught into it. Yeah. And the Lord's going to have his, his men escape, man. You know? You got it, bro. Yeah. And it goes on. I just, to, oh. to tell any of yours, uh, sorry, break off the top. Uh, so, Rock 44 and 17. Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of wrath. He was taken in exchange for the world. Therefore, was he left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came? Right, man. Therefore, he was left as a remnant, man. And, mm. and through no, and through Noah's loins, all right, he had what? Three sons: Ham, oh. Shem, and Japheth. Oh. All right, and then through through uh, you know those three sons, the Lord chose uh, Shem. You see, and then through Shem, you had what? Arphaxad. Oh, you know, uh, uh, Selah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Eber, Pele, uh, Pele. yeah, Pele. Uh, Ryu, mm -hmm. uh, Sarug, and uh, um, Ebert. Huh? Did you say Ebert? Yeah, then he had, uh, uh, who was, uh, 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 yeah, Nahor. Yeah. Well, not Nahor, that was, uh, no, said, Tarak. Said, Tarak was right. Abraham's father. Yeah. And then for Abraham, you had what? Uh, Isaac and Jacob. Mm -hmm. And then here we are. You know? So through that one man, all right, the Lord, you know, brought back, all right, the sons of God. Because huh? the Lord killed. A whole bunch of sons of God during the time of that first death, man. You know, because what, what were they doing? Being intermingled, they all intertwined to to the daughters of men, right. worshiping their God. Same thing Jake is doing right now, simping after these women. You know, and and the biggest, you know, daughters of men in these times, the biggest heathen woman is really the so-called black woman. Yeah. You know, now even though she, they're Israelites, but really they're the ones that perpetuating this queen of heaven, you know, worship, man, is yeah. idolatry. You know. And Jake is, is, is caught right all up in her, man. Shabbat. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Shabbat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I have two, a couple more precepts, bro. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to tell you this I got, I got this one. Because um, we're talking about being perfect. This right. is um, 1 John chapter 4. And um, verse 12, it says, No man hath seen the Most High at any time. 
if we love one another, the Most High dwelleth in us, and His love is perfected in us. So that's how we. That's how really you be perfect, man. Right. You love your brother right. as you would love yourself, right? And that's how you know the spirit of Yahweh Hashem is dealing with you, mm. right? It says, uh, it says, hereby know we that we dwell in Him, and He in us, because He hath given us of His Spirit. Mm. So anybody coming in another spirit, that's not the Most High ain't dealing with them, man. Yep. Right? It says, and we have seen and we testify that the Father have sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the Son of the Most High, the Most High dwelleth in him, and he and the Most High. All right? I'll drop down to verse uh, 17. That's the point. It says, herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. So we come into that state of, hey, we, don't, we know we're going to get rejected. We know that people are going to mm -hmm. come up against, you know, the, the spirit that the Lord uh, put us in. Just like how Yahweh Shai was rejected of men, mm -hmm. like even of his own people. Yep. And there's going to be scoffers that try to discredit and disprove, uh, you know, the, the disciples of Yahweh Shai, just like how they tried to disprove Yahweh Shai himself. But you can do nothing against the truth before it. Yep. So everything going to be made manifest in that day when, when Yahweh Shai returns. Yep. All right. That's it. Do you have something else, man? Yeah, man. So you know, with that, you know, we just want to, you know, you know, touch into that lesson. You know, as you can see the title of it once again. All right, we are in the times of zero tolerance. It's about to be instant judgment, man. Mm -hmm. You know, speaking of judgment, you got that hurricane uh, barrel category yeah. five. Yeah. That ain't yeah. nothing, man. The Lord's about to bring worse things than that. Yep. You know, He's going to start them up to trials. But hey, man, Lord willing, you know, you out can walk of the. Uh, Elect was edified. The next time we give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh. Want to give double honors to the Prophet of the Great Millstone, Wakwa Babal, Shabbat Shalom. Shalom.